Hello Tukis and welcome to this new video in the Tukan You Can video series. So the goal of this video series was to show you in a very relaxed environment how Tukan allows you to create very complex charts in a much easier way than what you are traditionally used to. So today we're joined by the lovely Margot who is one of our product specialists and she's going to take you or take us through one of the typical use cases. So take it away. Thank you GP. Yeah, here we are today to talk about the famous waterfall chart. The waterfall chart is also known as the bridge chart. It's a typical financial chart that is used to understand the variation, positive or negative, of a value. All right, so typically within the finance uh, industry, if I'm a financial director of a big company and I need to look at the revenue changes of my business, this is what I would be looking at. Exactly, right. uh, GP. That would be Got the it. perfect chart to that, to understand the variation of your profit between this year and last year. From experience, this, creating this on Excel is just a painstaking work uh, and it requires an entire team of people to put the data together and put of, all of that together. I think so. I've seen people cry doing it. Let's get to it, GP. Let's start with the data. So I'm editing this story and I'm adding some data. I have here this uh, data source is called Waterfall that I can use. And let's take a look at it before starting the chart. All right. Uh, now, Margot, just before you continue, um, looking at this data, I'm pretty sure that the two keys watching this video are going to tell you that this looks like data heaven. I was sure you were going to say yeah, that. It usually doesn't come this clean or structured, we all know that. I know, I know, but don't worry, with Tukan you can, so we have a specific video for you later, guys, that you can watch that will help you format your data for the waterfall chart. Because the waterfall chart is a very complex chart, it requires uh, some specific data structure, and for the sake of the exercise today, we're not going to see it uh, with you, but uh, you can watch this video later. So now that I have my data, let's take a look at it. I have different lines with different columns and I have here the group which corresponds to my category of changes, positive or negative, in my revenue. So I can, I can analyze my changes in revenue from the revenue itself, my typical activity. Or I can see that from the m &A part or even from the currency rate. Right. And so I have this here, and then if I look at my label, I can go into detail and I can see, for example, revenue changes for Europe, for America, for Asia, etc. etc. Now that we have the data, let's look at the chart. I can go here in the chart parameters menu. Cool. And from there, I can select the chart that I want to build. Today, we said we want to build a waterfall, so let's go for it. All right. As you can see, JP, like you have a form in front of you, and you just need to follow the steps. Just need to read. <laughs> First step is adding the value. The value is the indicator that you want to show on your chart. Here, the value is contained in my value column. So let's just go here and select it from the drop down menu. All right. Then, what is the text label I want to display? What is the information I want to display to what goes this value I'm showing? So we said that we, under we want to understand the variation of my revenue from these categories. from geographical um, area, from the acquisition, from the currency rate, and this information is located in my label column. So I just need to select it here. And then I have this parameter called groups types level that will help the chart understand the relationship between all those lines. All right, all right perfect. So this, for example, would allow the, uh, the software to understand that the dollars will go into the currencies. Exactly. If I understand well. It's all just right, like perfect. the mapping. Uh, within your within the your data sources that oh, you have. Makes sense. So I choose the group, and as we say that we want to have a view of my big categories, and then click on it and have the detail. So we're gonna have to add an optional parameter called the parent group level yeah. to allow us to create what we see here. Oh wow! All right, you have a so you have a, a small preview screen here on the bottom right side that allows you to look at all the changes and all the relationships that you've set up between the different columns. Exactly, JP. So oh, nice. before wow. going live with what you've built, you always have a preview to get a look at what you've just done. That's impressive. I mean, this is pretty impressive. You uh, see, in just a few clicks. So, folks, in just a couple of minutes here, we've been able to create a chart that usually requires an entire team of people and hours spent on your data to create something like that. Um, and I'm not finished, JP. Yeah. You want more? There's even more than that. Always and more. Look at the right, pixel perfect. Tukon, with Tukon, you can. There's always more. Yeah. So let's say you want to understand the revenue without the currency changes. All right. Let's add a step here to give this information to your manager and your C-level. I'm just going here in my optional parameters and I can add another parameter called steps 
And if I don't know what it what it's for, I just can I can just click here on the tooltip and just follow the instruction. So here I want to add this step after the AMA category and I want to call it without currency changes. Just tap in here, look at the preview. Ta da! Wow. Oh wow, I mean this is this is super impressive. Super I, impressive. I told you GPA you didn't come for nothing. So just to rem <laughs> just to remember you guys, you see how quick we can do a waterfall. There is variation automatically calculated, there is color coding already implemented for you. You can add cool features in just a few steps. Just go for it guys, it's your time to try it.